It's number three on George Michael Week 2 by Rowan Mayfair. That is correct. Thank you, uh, lovely donor, lovely chatter. That's right. Uh, This is Jesus to a Child. This is hands down the most beautiful song I've ever heard anyone write about losing the love of their life. Not much to say here. The lyrics say it all. Wow. High praise. All right. Let's check it out. This was also on the older album. Smooth jam, Joe. This is a beautiful shot that we've stopped on here. Yeah, I've I've got good I got good timing. Joe's got the best timing. Um this well he's got that wonderful Spanish guitar. And also George Michael, I feel like smooth jazz came in in the nineties and he was like, This is this is <laughs> it. This is where I, I should be. He's like, All right. All right, I know where I'm supposed to be. Jesus to a child. Yeah, he just has a very, very gentle, s- smooth voice. Very smooth. And this this music video has got a lot of, especially in the beginnings, pretty intense imagery. I'm, and it's in color, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering what the chairs is that cocaine? It's a chair. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. It's literally the first thing I thought of, and then I I don't know what. I don't know what this this is. Smack, yeah. kicking the cocaine. You have the yeah. naked person here, another naked person here. And yeah, spice. I don't know. I don't know what to make how to make sense of any of it. Maybe it's just like imagery of like destruction and despair. I mean, that's oh. pretty that's pretty horrific. <laughs> if they were actually stuck in those boxes and all they could do is hold hands. Yeah. But yeah, I mean it's a metaphor. 
you know, maybe, maybe I'm just really, uh, really dumb or something, but you know, Rowan says that beautiful song, the, the lyrics say it all. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm having trouble. Uh, I have to, I have to focus more on the lyrics. Kind of in your heart. I guess you heard me cry. You smile. Hmm. Did maybe someone died? Someone they loved died because says heaven sent and heaven stole. So it's like I see an angel was born, but then they die, take him away. Could be something like me. this. And uh, then, then I would. Uh, I wonder if it's about that. Uh, about his. How how did Rowan put it? First love, lost first love, mm. because the whole album is dedicated. Yeah, maybe. That yeah, would be my thought. For every single memory has become a part of me. You will always be Dark, dark under and over tones on this one. I, I still, uh, I haven't quite decoded the lyrics, but you can feel the, you can feel and sense the pain. It and, seems uh, most to be love lost. Yeah. Uh, but that idea is being like feeling, having that feeling of love. Now I've, I've never had a, I've never had a romantic partner pass. That has not happened to me. Luckily. And you know, knock on that wood, brother. Um, but that like, especially if it's that first love, like imagine having that love and it not being, not being kind of like, uh, Oh, it ran its course breakup, but a really sharp, jolt stolen away yeah, yeah, yeah you feel cheated out of it by fate or by uh yeah, by yeah like, like no 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 person made a decision to move move away from it right the world just decided that's it yeah you've it's you've dumb. you've no you no longer have this anymore you feel like there's some kind of glitch in reality you're like wait what no no that yeah can't, that can't be no there has to be some sort of natural way that this ends not yeah, yeah. not just some surprise shock like man that talk about a mind fuck huh i couldn't imagine mess with you like it's it's hard enough to fall out of love but to have love taken away from you yeah like straight up not by a person by just circumstance love to be taken away from you that is that'll shake you to your core i can't imagine so i mean well i didn't mean it makes sense so you dedicate a whole album i mean the deep the deep sense of despair and just like you feel abused by the work just the world yeah you feel like um yeah cheated just like like nothing's on your side the world is out to get you and it took away the thing that you loved the most and and finding romantic love is a major goal for almost every single person yeah 
a like, large majority of people. A large majority for a large majority of people, it's their main goal. Right. And for probably almost uh, almost everyone, it is a very significant goal. And to accomplish that goal and then have it taken away from you, not lost, not not, not slipped away, literally just one day next day stolen. That right. Never suck. Blindsided. Yeah. Blindsided, blindsided to the yeah. loss of love. Yeah. I mean, it happens. That's just like it's one of life's most difficult lessons. A lot of people have to go through that. But uh, what I was going to say about George Michael writing this whole album, you have so much. It was probably very cathartic, I imagine. Yeah. I mean, that is for a lot of artists who whatever their medium it doesn't have to be just music but you get out you, you get the energy out through art you express it through a through an art form and so yeah i mean and it, it it obviously doesn't solve anything or heal you completely but you know it can you can release some and be like all right it just it's it's out <laughs> at least a little bit of it lives outside of me and isn't torturing me anymore and there's so many emotions. I mean, there's so many emotions, like a bazillion different ways to 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 describe, to feel, to think about something as tragic and painful as as what we've been what we've been talking about. That yeah, it, it, it there's just so much to it. Oh so, yeah, so many it's... songs to write about. Like like every day feels like you could write just the journey of going through that day for like the first. At least three months every day is just an extreme struggle. Well, yeah, because it's not just like it's not just the moments of deep sadness and despair. You go through other the stages of grieving. There's moments of like in like enraged anger of just like you're just so mad, you're like punching shit and like and then there's moments of um yeah, I guess it's just the stages of grief. So it's like go from Sadness, anger, resentment, just like, yeah, you, because what else, you don't know what to do. You have to go through and feel all these things and like let them move through you. Yeah. And I, I bet, I bet some things start to stabilize and then it's just a, for so long, you're, you're faced with little moments of that for years. Little moments of, usually, yeah, of the disconnect. Like when you go do something, I, I mean, it can't like it's got to be so difficult when you go do something that, even if it was just something in passing that you talked about two years later. Oh, you know, I remember them saying they wanted to come to you know this city or go do this thing, mm -hmm. and now I'm doing it. And yeah, I even if it's been years later, I think it probably, you know, everyone's different, but it probably gets a little bit easier after the. whole whole second year because the first year you you uh you have all like these special dates from the year prior oh yeah of like uh this is when we blah 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 this we is their birthday this is their birth yeah this anniversary is christmas without them yeah so you have to go through that whole thing and then the second year might just be like oh yeah last year was bad because that was my first year without but then I think after the second year, you can you kind of like okay, well, you know, I'm forming new memories. I have to go on living my life like my life is still happening. Yeah. And then you know, I'm not saying that it gets easy for anyone, but I think just as time passes, you're like, whoa, okay, I, I just, I just, I'm moving on. <laughs> I, ha I have to start somewhere. And even the example you use, that's still two entire years right. of a life. There's so much happens in two years. Right. Yeah. Where you're like, you're just going through it. Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of people out there always going through it. You never yeah. know when it's going to be your turn. No. All right. All right moving on. Let's move on.